Hey everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about OEM computers. This will be my second release video about this particular subject. What I'm going to be talking about is let's say you want to go buy an OEM computer brand new from the store. I'm going to give you some tips and things to watch out for when you go to buy a new computer. First thing first, warranties. With the OEM computers, you got to understand most of these machines only have a one year warranty for the hardware which is usually a parts labor warranty and I have to, I have to say it's, it's sad because I'm a custom builder and I know that hardware manufacturers such as hard drive manufacturers, mainboard manufacturers, mirror manufacturers, all that stuff offer warranties much much larger and basically what these OEM companies do they buy the components OEM from the manufacturer but even in those cases such as hard drives from Seagate for example even OEM bare drive Seagate drives have a three year warranty on them. And one possible solution for that is some stores offer warranties, extended warranties, past the manufacturer warranty. However, I have my own personal opinions about these, which I'll come back to that here shortly. Now we're going to be talking about where to go when you want to buy a new computer. You have choices of going to retail box stores or going online. I think it's a good idea to go to a retail box store so that way you can look at the computer if it's on display and get to know it a little better before you take it out of the box when you buy it. I think a good store to go to would be Best Buy because they have a good selection. They have plenty of computers on stock and on, on display. And that way you can try them out and everything. And in some cases, I can't say all cases, but some cases, the people know exactly what they're talking about with a particular product. However, this isn't always true. I've had some cases where friends of mine have bought a printer, like for instance, my friend Chucky bought a printer from Best Buy, and the guy said, "Yeah, this printer comes with everything you need. You don't have to come. You don't have to buy anything else." Come to find out, the printer needed a USB cable, so Chuck had to go back to the Best Buy to buy a cable. Anyways, back to the subject. In some cases, you gotta watch out about these warranties these stores offer. For example, I know. Best Buy offers an extended warranty, I think three years if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. If you look online at consumeraffairs.com, there are some complaints out there about Best Buy not honoring this warranty. So these people will be spending several hundred dollars for this extended warranty, come to find out it's bogus. It don't it they don't then when because when they don't want to honor it. <clears throat> and another place you can go to shop for a computer is Walmart. Walmart is usually located really close to where you live. There's plenty of Walmarts out there. They outnumber Best Buy and all that. And you can usually go to Walmart and they have a fair selection of computers. Nowadays they do have their laptops out on display. So you can try out the laptops. Usually their desktops are not out on display. And in some cases, like I said before, in some cases the people working in the electronic center probably know what you're talking about. However, there's some back there who probably don't have a clue. And I also want to talk about stores to avoid or be at least be careful at. These office supply stores such as Office Depot, Office Max, Staples, you know, the whole bunch. I have heard some bad, bad rumors about these stores on consumeraffairs.com about these these retailers having really crappy return policies and not just really giving consumers a runaround when the computer has problems. One example would be Office Depot. I didn't actually buy a computer there, but I did buy an Ativa high definition camcorder there. I don't have the receipt with me right now, but on the back of the receipt, guess what it says? Once the product has been open, exchange only for electronics. So you can't even take the camera out of the box and try it out. If you want, if plan on, if you're planning on returning to the store, I think it's ridiculous. I, I mean, it's, it's a ripoff. Stores should not be allowed to do that. In my opinion, with store policy is, it hurts relations with customers. If store policy wasn't such a, you know, wasn't such a big thing in customers' faces when they go and walk into the store, it wouldn't be so bad for the stores. <clears throat> that's why I think that's that's one of my bad opinions about stores. But anyway, back to the subject. Buying a computer at these stores, I in some cases I may recommend it, but in other cases no. I'd rather you go to Best Buy or Walmart. Those are just two store drive hand that I think are okay. 
And another thing, when you go to buy a computer, be sure to look at the specs really well. And if you want to, do some research. Because there are a lot of computers out there that are really expensive but have really nice features. However, there are some computers out there that are really cheap but are really, really basic and will not perform well at all. Excuse me. Anyways, like I say, do your research. Use high caution when going to places like Office Depot or Office Max or Staples. Definitely ask questions. And look online about these extended warranties before you purchase one. Please do that. Highly recommend that you do that. Otherwise, good luck and find you a good computer. Any questions or comments, let me know.